What is up everyone? TF32 is here and we are back with TF32 Returns to GeoGuessr. We're placing a random in the world and we need to figure out just where the fuck we are. Uh, kudos to anyone who's checked out my newest Castlevania videos. I will have quite a few more the following weekend. I'm taking today off and of course work is as busy as can be after having finished a pretty long work week. Uh, a couple long work weeks, actually. So, I'm going to get back to GeoGuessr proper today, and we're going to be doing a diverse world, as you see. And just for the sake of getting a couple of videos out today, I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be doing the triple five. That's five minutes per round, five spawns, and five guesses. Anywhere in the world. So, we have this yellow dash in the middle of the road along with a yellow solid line. Um, I want to turn the classic compass on actually because I like that better. We can't go any further than that, really? Come on. Also, sun's in the south. We have an interesting uh, Patagonian styled uh, clouds, although it might just be my imagination playing on me. <clears throat> And we have the sign right here. What does it say? Next slash pro chain. 10 kilometers. You know, something in the back of my head says this could be man. Because I've been to Maine quite a few times, actually, and often at times there, since it's one of, the one of the northernmost states in the United States, you'll get... Okay, we apparently can't move any further than this. We've exhausted all of our clues. I'm going to go to Maine. But it's one of the most northernmost states in, in the United States, minus Alaska. And you'll often come across high speed limit signs as well as kilometer signs. And what direction are we facing? We're facing... This way, we're facing northwest. So I guess we're on 201 going that way, because we can't go any further than that. And it was actually Canada. Um, I still got decent points, though, because we were still pretty close to Canada. <clears throat> My buddy lives somewhere around here. I'm not going to disclose exactly where he is. But I'm going to be visiting there quite a bit this month, so... Um, if there's a slight absence of videos minus the Castlevania Perfect Speed Runs, that's going to be the reason why. But anyway, we lost 700. Um, decent. I mean, if I could get 22, something like that, we'll be in pretty good shape going forward. Hopefully I can move further than just 10 clicks for this next one right here. Uh, yeah, get on that side of it. Feral go, feral gas, feral gas. Um, uh, I think this says U.S. dot right there, which would be indicative of the United States. Ofs, as you Gen Zers like to say. I mean, I'm I'm a slight Gen Zer as well. I, I was. I'm a late gen wire. Big run Salem Road, core mile, further confirmation that we are in the United States. And I still am not good with the license plates. The registration plates on there. I don't know what kind of license plates these could be. And I mean we don't have all the time in the world to figure this stuff out. We only have five minutes per round. <clears throat> No, I think we're going to do four videos today. I'm going to do four for the price of two. And I'm going to have a very special map for the last two. These first two are going to be a right. They're going to be regular videos. Okay, we got a new zip code, uh, area code, 606. I'm going to get my phone out real quick and go on notes and see if 606 is anywhere there. I've been keeping track of... The notes, I do not see 606. I got a 607, but that's that's a southwestern 
upstate New York, basically. That one I have memorized for some odd reason that I cannot explain. And what is the sign right here? Truck lane 500 feet. Um, so, judging that we're basically in the middle of nowhere, assuming we don't come across any signs, I have to think about what this mostly looks like. You know, this does look like upstate New York, but the plates say otherwise. We obviously don't have the yellow registration plates. We don't have the light blue ones. And 1109, I think there's a few states that have that oval for the for the state routes. Oh, but look at this. We got some... Thing. To Kentucky. Um, we got Johnsonville and Bradford. So to Kentucky... Uh, and we're facing, if we take a 90 return per se, we'd be facing south if we were heading towards Kentucky. So, which would lead me to believe we're probably in Ohio or Indiana. And I honestly forgot what the Indiana root signs look like. So we got Bradford, we have Johnsville. I almost said Johnsonville. <clears throat> And the state board is right there. We have Madison, Bedford, but that isn't good enough. It was least to believe we are either in Ohio or Indiana. It could possibly even be Illinois, for all I care. Equality, Illinois. Hopefully that's what they serve there. Equality for all. We got Sean Town, then we got Old Sean Town, <laughs> right along the Ohio River. <clears throat> Chuck, uh, Norris City, that's where Chuck Norris was born. Uh, Mount Carmel, you get all the caramel in the world, that's how you're supposed to say it. You don't go there for summer school. Um, what else? I'll get all of my fresh food from Farmersburg and... We'll be sculpting in Clay City, but I'm going to go for Southern Indiana, uh, Leavenworth. Um, no, that's too... We don't see any of our stuff around. Um, then again, have we seen any of the stuff so far? Uh, let's go here. I don't know. Oh, wait, it says Kentucky Route 10. To Kentucky Route 10. Hold on a second. Could we be in Kentucky? But if I place my guess there, I'm going to get decent points regardless. So we're 119 points away, and I was right. We were inside Kentucky. And there's Route 10. Kentucky Route 10. Unfortunately, it was too late that I learned that. And Johnsonville seemed pretty small. It doesn't look like I was going to find that. And what else was there? There was Bradford. That's what it was. Bradford. And we have this... <clears throat> we have this kind of Google car, and... I think that means Mexico. If it were Argentina, we would have a... I mean, it could be white or black, to be fair. But... Can we see any shadows anywhere? That's going to be, I think this is Mexico, but I, the ultimate telling story for me is going to be the shadows. Can we see the shadow on that woman right there? Um, I guess I could see a slight shadow facing. Facing north, which would put us in the, uh, the northern hemisphere. I'm used to saying... Sun's in the north, so it must be in the southern hemisphere. But when you're talking about shadows, it's pretty cool. Um, if you see your shadows in the south, that means you're in the southern hemisphere, uh, vice versa. <clears throat> so we have a decent score, 8815 right now. Um, and those bullards I'm so bad at. 
and we have these pine trees right here. Are those Peruvian arrow signs right there? I think they are. I think I pointed those out in a more recent video, which would further uh, lead me to believe that that's true. But <clears throat> could be Mexico as well. Very dangerous odds to be playing with, I'll say. But even if we knew it were Peru or Mexico, our odds of getting a good score are pretty slim because both are fucking enormous. Unless is that a Colombian cross right there? Well, it can't be a Colombian cross because of the yellow, of the white plates we have. Um, <clears throat> in Colombia, you get yellow plates on on the license plates, and here, oh, it's really white. And there we go. It's Mexico. We even have we have an we even have an indicator as to what state we're in. Um, C H I something. Uh, let's try and figure out what it is. I don't think it's... No, it is Chihuahua. Okay, never mind. I'm just making things difficult on myself. Uh, so, Route 25 in Chihuahua. At least we know our state, so we're not going to get in a terrible score. It's not going to be overly bad. I'm going to look for Route 25. And El Torero. I think we found our place already. El Torero is... That way, away. So I'm going to remember Route 25. We can set a checkpoint, which is actually pretty cool. But I'm going to return to the start here. And I'm going to just remember Route 25 because we have a minute and a half left. El Torero is if we go east. So we would turn east and we would get there. But where's the Route 25? That's going to be our... That's going to be our, our tell-all story here. I'm assuming that these different shape of the roots mean they're the state roots, and these would be the country roots. So El Torero, we would turn east up there, or we would even go east, and we would end up there. And we don't have any other towns, and I can't see... Route 25, so I'm going to place my pointer right there, and let's hope for the best. Oh yeah, um, we're facing directly north, just for the record. You know, what if we're here? We could very well be here. Alright, 51 miles, I think that's my best score of the game so far, and we don't have any 25s. If it hadn't been for the Chihuahua, I would not have known whether it had been Peru or Mexico, although I probably would have gone Mexico, because I was thinking that right from the beginning. But even at that, we would have gotten a crap score. I wouldn't have even guessed Chihuahua. I usually guess on, like, the elbow's edge. All right, this area, definitely the U.S. of A. Pretty bad, uh, but... We have these trees right here. They look sort of northern. And uh, it's American because we have the mailboxes. Uh, we also have these ranch King George on the Potomac. That's very interesting. Anybody up to speed on their U.S. history? Because I certainly am not. <laughs> uh, what phone number do we have? We have 540. You have to keep note of that as we go. We have these blue signs as well, but speed limit, 25. And I think you usually get these blue signs further up north. So we have those ranch fences. And what's this right here? Adopt a highway, Pomac, HOA. Uh, go back to the beginning so we can get closer to where we started. I advance further down this road. Save our clicks as well. So, other than the 540, had I known that zip code, uh, we don't have any clues as to, as to what state we're in. Although we do have these very nice houses, these very nice homes. Very nice homes. 
It's a very interesting home right there, although it's probably not of quality. Sorry for those viewing that might live there. So waiting for that day where I spawn right outside my house and we're on a fucking cul-de-sac. Alright, let's go the other way. Let's go back where we went and see if there's any leaving. We can go that way at least. Can we go that way? Yes, we've escaped the clutches of that road. We're in this very deep forest. Um, just to save time, I think I'm going to make an early guess. Uh, Minnesota. Uh, pretty far up north. I don't know. But it was actually... It looks like it could have been Maryland, but it was actually Virginia. We were way out in the open. There's our dead end, I think. No, never mind. Our actual dead end, I think, was right there. We couldn't have gone any further. How close would it have been until we got any clues? It would have been pretty far, and I don't think we would have had time to make it. We could have if our click speed was good enough, but we weren't going to do it. So 22,000 is out of the question. We could still get 20, though. But Alto, that means either Mexico or Guatemala. In South America, you get Pare. It's just the way it is, regardless of which country you're in. Constructora. Trolls there. We got a doggo right there. I'm kind of hoping this is Guatemala because um, it would allow me to get a better score. Although it doesn't really... I don't think it is Guatemala. I think this is Mexico again. And we're on these very tiny roads. I'm going to make an early guess and go Mexico. Just outside Mexico City, actually. Okay, at least I got the country right. We're outside of Merida. And 18,588. Not the score I was hoping for. I'm I'm 3400 I'm 3500 off even uh what I was hoping to get. And believe it or not, it looks like everything was in North America, funnily enough. We didn't get anything outside of the US or Mexico. From there, I'm gonna cut it here and I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned for that.